Hello dear friends, Bandhura, hope all of you doing great, wish for safe and sound health. Good evening, Assalamu alaikum. Yes dear friends, again as well I am here and today I am going to discuss with another important part in apparel industry that is fabric dyeing. Fabric dyeing is vital part you know because without this is, we can't even think about this industry. In, in last session what I discussed, I, I discussed about knitting process. I mean from the spinning after getting the yarn, how from the yarn, we uh, <coughs> the knitting section knit the fabric. I mean, and end of the knit section, what we got, we used to get gray fabric. Then after this gray fabric, we have to start. And then the second process is dyeing section. So yes, in dyeing section, uh, there are also some parts, some division. Like first of all, have to uh, receive the gray fabric from the knitting section. Then I'm mean, knitting department. Then make the best in best section. They have to make the best according to the capacity of the dyeing machine. Uh, in the uh, yeah in the buying section after dyeing there are separate part like uh, after completing the uh, dyeing part they have to there is another some part like uh, slitting machine and uh, another division slitting slitting division then after slitting there is another division is eastern third division eastern third and there are some process in every section every division there are some part sorry some uh, work some tasks that i'll discuss and then after eastern tiring there is a compacting section then after compacting finishing so that's the total process and i'm going to discuss all the process one by one so dear friends please with with me i'm going to show you a ppt not only that in my next session i will show a practical video that would be very very clear to you to make total understand Hello dear friends, yes I have uh, shared my uh, PPT, I think you can see my PPT, here uh, just wait, yeah, please see my first page of the PPT, first of, first of all see the gray fabric, see all the gray fabric are in the in the back, uh, this way from the knitting section, the dyeing section used to receive the fabric from the knitting factory, then first of all here what is happening here in dyeing section, uh, coming dyeing section, uh, this uh, gray fabric is going here, in a nozzle section and here what is happening has uh, first of all using this nozzle machine uh, using air below the fabric is spreading after spreading uh, then uh, if it's required to make its uh, tuber uh, then I have to join the two opponent uh, to make tuber and uh, the here also make the best according to the capacity of the uh, dying machine the best section is also doing here see here below all the bears are ready here um, to put into for the Dying section. Yes, now fabric is uh, ready. Uh, I mean, best is ready for the dyeing. But before dyeing, there is another important section that is chemical or dye step. Yes, uh, for dyeing the fabric, there we need the uh, lots of chemical and dye step that should be ready uh, according to the bulk recipe. And the lab technician actually are doing that part. Uh, whenever uh, the initially when the war start, uh, the merchandising team uh, work with the fabric, uh, fabric uh, color standard or uh, you know, there's a uh, different color cat based on different color cat or color standard. Uh, they used to send to the lab people, lab concern, and uh, uh, lab people who lab technician, what is they're doing? They're according to the color standard or color, color spectrometer, they used to make the recipe and make lab dip. And the merchandising team take the approval uh, from that lab dip from the buyer. Then this process, so oh, actually, these are the processes uh, used to do. And finally, have to take the bulk approval from the buyer. After taking the bar, uh, bulk approval of the color, that final color uh, have to send uh, the merchandising team sent to the lab concern and lab concern accordingly make the final recipe for the bulk. So according to that, he just think here for dyeing the fabric, their bulk dyes chemical and uh, dye step and all chemical are ready. Now fabric will go for the dyeing section for the dye. So it is the uh, dyeing machine. Here in the dyeing machine, the main tax is here. Um, here, a lot of tax will be will be taken here, taken place here. First of all, in this dyeing machine, have to fill up the water, then uh, loading the bass. Already you see the bass; it is ready. That uh, it is the path uh, to put insert in the uh, dyeing machine. So, yes, uh, loading the bass, and after loading the bass, there are some tea treatment. Uh, it's must have to do. And the first the process of pre-treatment I mean pre process is scouring. What is scouring? Scouring actually, you know, using water and some sorts of chemical like uh, nitro, nitro, sodium hydroxide, then hydrogen peroxide, the sort of uh, um, uh, using chemical scouring process have to do. 
and the scarring actually see it's take away the material of the uh, hamper or restrain that some dye so there's some material you know you know with the fabric that uh, hamper that make hamper that make uh, restrain to uh, make dye properly so through the scarring that part that material part have to take away uh, from that fabric and uh, it also helps to increase the water absorbency as well as expands the weight ability of the fabric then after scouring you know uh, have to do cold wash i mean water there and also there would be used some chemical then neutralization yeah neutralization at the part of neutralization that is how you have to uh, hot water then acid and then here also check the ph level whether it is neutralized or not so ph level have to check up uh, through this uh, the technician or uh, the you know dyeing expert uh, can know the fabric is neutralized or not then after neutralization a uh, labeling agent have to add i mean have to inject what is labeling agent labeling agent actually it's some sorts of uh, some sorts of chemical compounds that improve the evenness and consistency of dye that's really really important a uh, dye or pigment uh, that's uh, take by the fabric so after uh, in labeling agent then and have to end the dye dosing it means salt soda dosing then electrolyte i mean you know you can say that dye bath exhaustion exhaustion and uh, salt yeah salt keeps a vital role here because you know by you know that's in reactive dyeing salt play an important role by improving the affinity or attraction of the dye stuff towards the fiber then you know after dye bath how is go to for again hot wash then i mean with acid for neutralization and again neutralization then shopping this means you know at the time of dyeing there are some uh, excess unfinished dye uh, present in the i mean lies present in the fabric surface that have to remove that's why shopping is required so after shopping again wash then unload the fabric so it's the process of actually um, uh, i mean a dyeing process yes it, I, what i have said is for the i mean medium color dye or dark dye whatever but for the white actually you need not to do all the process if it is there is white color just you know p treatment have to do then directly will go for dyeing uh, dye, dye dosing entry so actually say it, it will take uh, less time for the white color okay then after dyeing in this fabric will uh, have to send to the slitting section see the slitting machine it's all a slitting machine and now what's happening here in slitting machine here the fabric squeezing is happening i mean to remove the water and uh, you know the pit uh, uh, at the time of pit treatment there are some excess water excess dyeing that had to have to excuse then you know i said that's uh if we cut the uh, make tuber there is some joining us there if we record the joint in the best section and here you know in this machine in that top level there is knife there so using this knife i see here slitter cut the tube fabric to make it um anti vitamin by open and then the oh, i mean open the fabric and uh, ready for the starting uh, as well deliver fabric uh, this fabric here from uh, i mean uh, un increased way tension free straight away it is going to the next section i mean uh, in uh, eastern tearing away uh, um, section then now go to uh, we are going to eastern tearing see it is the eastern tear machine it is the eastern tear machine here again what is happening i had also using a uh, water then also sort of soft, 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 uh, some sort of chemical because here fabric making soft softening then you know dipping uh, then squeezing uh, heat setting uh, yes if it's especially lacquer fabric the heat set is going on uh, being here and uh, through this heat setting actually dye setting or properly dye has to be set here also has to be set here and in that there is long chamber you can see through this long chamber lots of uh, tucks are here i mean like firing here then drying process here then shade variation what is shade also variation that is meeting mitigating here i mean adjusting the shade variation and uh, the main function is to stress the fabric width wise so here width wise fabric is working width was stress and then uh, which was display is, is uh, giving width wise stress the fabric dies uh, has to set here and recover the uniform weight yeah actually axis here we uh, have to see here but one thing is i missed is that that uh, if it is lacquer fabric you know after making the base uh, before going the uh, slitting section um, first of all uh, the fabric come here in heat set heat setting section then after heat setting again uh, go for dyeing i mean after basing first heat setting if it is lacquer fabric especially not for the cotton fabric uh, so uh, lacquer fabric uh, and cotton fabric already, already have said and for the lacquer fabric after base making base 
is coming here directly in the section then after setting the dia it is going to the uh the dying section then after dying then cylinding then again come here like this way but for the cotton what i have said uh, accordingly it is happening so then after completing this section uh, this uh, fabric uh, will have to send to i mean it's to send to uh in uh, compacting section see so, like, standard after completing the standard uh, uh, the fabric uh, is going compacting section compacting section what is happening here this is process of compacting the fabric in lengthwise direction earlier i said uh, standard in widthwise but here is working is lengthwise <laughs> and this machine actually controls uh, the shrink case fabric shrink case then fabric gsm also here also you know, the fabric work on dia also as well and um, then here uh, after finishing this part the fabric if you see here see the here is also hot water you, you can say it's cloud so using this one lengthwise it is fixing and uh, the gsm in case everything is happening here then after completing this is going the right section finishing section you can see the right one <laughs> it is going finishing left shot then after this finishing then it will go for i mean after this finishing it will uh, in the inspection section then it will de 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 deliver to the garment section for garment making garments making so that's all actually for the dyeing but uh, from first to last so dear friends uh, in next session i'm going to show one video practical video <coughs> where you can see all the process that would be more clear to get understands so dear friends please be with me subscribe my channel and also uh, including this video see my next video i mean with the video one uh, next video for the where, where i'll show the time video so that would be more clear for you to get understands that's all thank you bye bye